Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Demetrios the Big Cynical Adventure. When we left off last time, we found the bad guys hide up. So we've got to find a way to get up on the roof. I think it's actually quite a good plan that Bjorn has to get up on the roof and we're going to dump the remainder of our sleeping potion down the chimney and hope that it kind of like disperses into a sleeping gas and takes them out. Okay. First things first though. Cookie. A well hidden cookie. Was it in the crate? And I think I see cookie. Cookie. What a shame. The truck rolled over that cookie. But we can salvage the crumbs, right? Right. Okay. So what do we want to do here? I really want to just like take the lever off the truck and have it roll forward into the crate. But when it rolls, I think it rolls backwards. Is there anything in here? Does not want the gloves. Or the toilet paper. I can see personal written on the envelope. Darn it, I can't get the money. Okay, and we tore up their seats. But I don't know that... Some rats with razor scrub teeth have eaten the seats. Can't see any other explanation. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything else we want to do here, right? Rip them open. I could smash it, but what about the consequences? What, worse consequences than... Slicing it. And, and we still have our can of food that we got all the way at the beginning. I've yet to find a use for that. Alright. Does this thing move? It's hard, but yes. It doesn't seem to do anything, though. If only I knew someone with a driver's license. Alright. And he won't leave. When it's all over, will I be able to get out of here on my own two feet? I don't like the feeling of black trash bags covering my body. Well... Can we just- oop! Oh, that probably wasn't smart. Oops, I forgot. This is probably a bad idea. Um... Well, let's try it. No, I came all the way here, I'm going to confront them. Hey, are you coming or what? I'm ready. Hello? Bad guys, come here! Mm. Hi! How's it going? Mm. Hi! It's you? Yeah, you're right, it's me! Oh. Hey, talk about it, welcome! Hmm, well... Here lies Bjorn Thonin, whose body was found wrapped in black trash bags in the middle of garbage. I always hid from everything until today. Let's. I'm kind of curious though. Let's try it again and hide. Why did I do that again? Oh gosh, someone's coming. Maybe I should hide while I still can. Yeah, do it. Quick, behind that crate. No one's coming? What a disappointment. Stay hidden, they'll come. Behind that crate, we'll try it again. No? No. Okay. I need a plan to get the tablets back. Let's check the scene. So we've got a bucket. You know what we've got? Just a ton of cookies. So, now let's do it. I've got a plan. It involves climbing on the roof, so I spread the drug inside. But I can't climb that ladder until I fix it. Five bars missing. What could I use? Okay. Yeah, I'm not that hungry anyway. So five bars. What can we use? Well, maybe a crowbar for one of them. That doesn't fit for replacing the bars. Darn. Mm. Can we take the crate apart? Mm. Nope. Putting it on the crate doesn't help open it. No, I don't want to open it. I want to clip some off. Can we pry it further apart? Too late. I can't do that. No, that doesn't do it. Those fingers are quite long. Though I'd rather not know where they may might have shoved them. So, oh my gosh, we're going to have to shear the fingers off. Let's do it. Five of them. Why not? I feel like a surgeon right now. See? Perfect. The patient didn't even scream. Alright, that'll do. 
Ew, where am I going to, where am I going to stick these oversized fingers? Well, <laughs> it looks so sad. Carnage. <laughs> That's more like it. No doubt about it, this is a criminal hideout. <laughs> Alright, there's those fingers. Uh, yeah, this should totally do. Hmm, they're a bit too long. Let's play in this little finger here. Cut the forefinger. Seems steady. Perfect. And if it doesn't hold, the fall won't be very high. Oh my. Oh, we just needed a tiny little bit down here at the bottom. Wait, I said we were missing five. One, two, three, four. Where's the last one? Oh, whatever. Let's get up here. This is the only solution. Oh gosh, I have shivers just thinking about it. Come on, Bjorn. He said the world is in danger. Being afraid of heights is the least of my problems. Alright, everything's fine. Be calm. One, two, three. Here goes nothing. Oof. It's hard to climb with all these things in my pockets and in my... We do have a lot of stuff in our inventory. Fair point. Oh gosh, this is high. Don't look down. You'll be fine. And I have only three rungs up. I'll just close my eyes. That's better. Almost at the top, I think. Go nice and slow so you can feel when you reach the top. Yeah! <laughs> There's a cast just hanging out up here in tigers. <laughs> and shite. Better stay crouched down. I can't stand up anyway. Hey! How come I can see myself all of a sudden? <laughs> I look ridiculous. Hopefully nobody sees me. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? So this is how they get TV. I get it. I'd go crazy too if I was isolated with nothing to do. Even bad guys are human after all. What about these barrels? If I'm not mistaken, this has gas in it. <laughs> yep. You can reach that tree, I think. Don't ask me what kind it is, nature doesn't interest me much. Alright, the chimney. What's in this box up here? Tools? Looks like a toolbox. Cool, I might find some useful items in there. Like... earplugs? This box is full of earplugs. What's the point? I'll take some earplugs. Earplugs won't help me. Unless... I find a way to make the bad guys wear some? Nah, I do crazy things, but that'd be insane. Well, maybe. I mean, knock them out and then earplug them. Ooh, what's over here? I don't get it. Why would they put big wheels like this on the roof? And how did they get them up here in the first place? And how do they have them staying still? Push it off. A big wheel they've been repairing or something. Ugh. I can't push it from here, it's stuck. If only I could stand. Hmm. What do we want to do? Puncture it. That won't do. I need something harder and longer to push it. Like my... Hmm, let's see. Crowbar. No, I don't want to cut it. Or actually I could, but it'd be a disaster. No, okay. Put the shears down. Let's lever this off, because we can. No, if I make it fall, they'd be alerted. Okay, fair point. Well, let's just do what we came here to do. And then we can mess around after. Potion... Down the hatch. So I'll drop the drug in the chimney and... Uh, it'll fall on their head? Maybe I should rethink this plan. Okay. We'll just pour it, right? I mean, what else do you want to do? That doesn't work. Maybe I need something to put the drug on first? Okay. What do we want to pour it on? Food? Cool, I've got two poisons in my inventory. <laughs> Alright, maybe um DVD. That's it. The witch must have used that drug to poison Snow White. And here I thought she had magical powers. Uh no, what else can we do here, Bjorn? We don't want to mess with our medallion. Card? Alright, I'll soak the card with drug and mm, what's the next part of this plan? Uh, set it on fire and drop it down the chimney. Okay, that's not going to do. Okay, nothing to do with the earplugs. We can't pick them up. If we do anything with these? If 
I've opened a barrel. Can't stand that smell for long. Better act quickly. Okay, what do we want to dip in here? This? I could soak it, but it doesn't want me to. Okay. We're not going to add it to that. And what do we want to put in here? Light it up. Yeah, excellent idea. That should be much more efficient. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible idea. Here lies Bjorn Thonin, who disappeared mysteriously while he was on vacation. Whoops, I didn't see it coming. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I messed up their satellite dish. Yeah, let's try that. Crowbar? Oop, there we go. Hey, what's going on? Darn reception. Oh yeah, they're watching their big finale. Elaine, go check. Something must be wrong with the antenna on the rooftop. Okay. Hey, there is! An imbecile! What? Someone's on the roof? Uh-oh. Get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> Here lies Bjorn Thonin, who was found buried in the desert with a huge wooden finger up his ass. Never a good idea to bother someone watching TV. Alright. So, don't mess with that. What about this tree? Can we do anything? Maybe I could grab a branch? Impossible. They're really hard. I can't break one off with my bare hands. Okay, but maybe smack it with a crowbar? Or shears. Cut a branch with that? Alright, alright, you're right. Shears. Oh, not the barrels. Don't worry, tree, this won't hurt. Not too much, anyway. And here's a branch for me. Alright, let's try soaking that. Thank you, tree. I'll always remember what you did for me. Excellent. Uh, can we soak the branch in her? Rub the branch with what's left of the sleeping drug. Excellent. Let's hope I don't get sleepy, too. Okay, so, can I... I don't think I want to just... Oh man, there are options here. Spill the sleeping drug? Sure thing. Huh? What's that on my head? Something's leaking from the roof? Hey, who the hell are you? Oops. I can't believe it. You peed on me? No. No, I didn't. That's just a sleeping drug. Can you go to sleep now, please? I'll show you sleep, bastard. I, I like that rolling off the roof animation there. That's pretty fantastic. Ah, Bjorn Thonin, who fell off a roof in the middle of the desert, despite being afraid of heights. I've often made nightmares in which I fall. Now I know why. Alright. So, that is not the way to, But I kind of want to see what happens if I do all these things. So, these are all obviously bad ideas. Get into the chimney. Finally, my dream is coming true. I can be Santa. It's a bad plan, Bjorn. You need to get stuck. Um. Oops. I'm stuck. I can't move my arms. Or even a finger. Totally stuck. Darn. Retrieved thanks to the chicken smell when lighting a fire in the fireplace. The longest, most painful, and stupidest death. <laughs> Alright, let's see what other shenanigans we can pull with this chimney. Throw a rock? Why not? Oh, that's a great idea. But I don't have a rock. Alright. Scream? What the? Who's slaughtering a pig? Hey, the hell? Who are you? Your imaginary friend. I've come to help you. But first you need to get some shut-eye. Warm in your bed. Warm? Well, you're gonna get really cold in a few minutes. Alright, did not expect that to work. This time we fell off a roof in the middle of the desert despite being afraid of heights. Again. Okay. Let's try thinking. Think? But that's the thing I'm worst at. Someone told me that every time I think, it ends in catastrophe. Okay, let's take a look at... I think we want to light it up before we drop it down, but just in case. So I hold the branch in the chimney, and nothing happens. Hmm, maybe a piece of the plan is still missing. Yeah, we need to light it on fire. I'll try, but no use. The lighter won't be enough to set it on fire. Okay, so just dip it in the gas. Let's dip that branch into the barrel. Oops, I soaked my hand, too. Now it stinks even more than usual. 
Well, be careful when you're holding it, because I don't want your hand to catch on fire, Bjorn. Hope that gas smell will disappear after a while. It's just going to compete with the vomit smell. Alright, so back to the chimney. And where did it go? Here we are. Light her up. And here's the final touch. Excellent. Come to dinner. It's hot and ready. Oh, hot. Very hot. Better use it quick. Yeah, down the chimney with that. The moment of truth. Will it work? I hope it won't catch fire. I think it's working. I can already smell the sleeping drug in the air. Don't fall asleep, Bjorn. Just a little longer. Oops, I dropped it. What an idiot. Let's hope they don't... What the? Smoke, where's that coming from? Elaine, go check it out. Ow. But, check what? Outside, you idiot. Someone must be on the roof. Okay. Crap, what am I gonna do now? Where is that big dummy? Okay, go hide. We're not um, automatically dead, so there's hope. Nothing on the roof? Better be quiet. Oops, a tile fell. Just my luck. Huh? Hey, who are you? Intruder! Oh no, I'm a goner. I'll never be able to go down and run away without being slaughtered. There's only one way out of this. I have to get rid of him. Can't believe I'm saying that. Darn that archaeologist. Okay, well, what are we gonna... Oh, he's over here. Okay, let's attempt... No! Shoot. Okay. I wanted to try and... Okay, so where does this put me at? Okay, he's gonna be... So, this is what we've gotta do. I think I just need to move much faster. Ah, it's moving! Just a bit more. There we go. Bam! Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful sound effect. Yes, got him. What the hell? What's going on? Shit, Elaine! He's dead! Who did this? Oops, forgot about him. Let's hope he doesn't... Man, I fall asleep. Come on. You! Crap. You did this? Who are you? Not telling. You got three seconds. Or should I put a bullet in that idiot head of yours? My name is Bjorn, and I'm an antiques dealer. Not an idiot. Well, not exactly. Bjorn? Bastard. Come here, right now. So you can shoot me? No way! Believe me, you little piece of shit. If I wanted to kill you, you'd already be dead. Unfortunately, I got orders not to harm you. Really? So get down here and we'll talk. I'm not moving. Okay. Oh, that was close. The next one will go directly between your two ugly eyes. Okay, okay. I'll climb down this ladder. But I have to warn you, that will take a while. I'm kind of afraid of heights, you know, so... Alright, so I'm climbing down the ladder. Oh my, it's high. Seriously? Why does the boss want anything to do with a loser like that? I I'm actually really curious. I... So this is interesting. This is, so maybe it's intentional in the first place that we didn't get killed when they stole the tablet from us in our apartment. They want the tablet. They're okay with harming us, but they'd rather not kill us. What do they want us for? Oh gosh, the ladder, it's... I'm falling! Meanwhile, how far did we fall? Like a couple feet? Oh, Sandra! Ah, nothing like a shower to start the day. Alright, I'm ready to go out. I wonder who knocked at the door earlier. Was it Bjorn? Maybe I should go check if he's there. Oh, we get to be Sandra! I spent enough time in my room. I want to explore now. But I don't know who's staying here. I'm not really used to being in hotels. Wouldn't that be impolite to just knock on a neighbor's door? Yeah. I didn't notice. I have a doorbell. What a luxurious hotel. Doorbells are so expensive these days. This belongs to someone. I shouldn't touch it. I'm curious to see what Sandra has to say about everything here. It looks tribal? I hope there aren't man-eating natives in this country. Sandra. Alright, what do we got here? They're nice, but a bit faded. I wonder if that grass is edible. 
Just leave it be. You can you can find actual food to eat if you're hungry. Oh, I'm jealous. Bjorn has beautiful flowers in front of his door. Shame they have a musty smell. Now what about this vomit? Oh dear, I forgot to clean this up. I wish Caroline would listen to me sometimes. How many times have I told her not to eat glue? Hopefully Bjorn will be a good influence on her. Oh. Mom offered me one like this. I love the ticking sound. So soothing. And Bjorn hated it. Ha. I heard Bjorn talking to someone in this room. About sorcerers and potions? Maybe I shouldn't bother whoever's in there. Bjorn must be in his room. Mm -mm. Bjorn, you there? Strange. He didn't lock his door? Yeah, he's not that responsible. Did she take the tablet? I hope he's not having a nervous episode. He always seems so skittish and stressed. I should have a look. She... Oh my, it's boiling in here. Who started a fire? Somebody must be crazy. Anyway, Bjorn doesn't seem to be here. Huh? What's that under his pillow? It wasn't stolen at all. Sandra's holding on to it for him. The airline tickets? And isn't this the tablet he showed me? He put him under his pillow and he didn't lock his door. He said it was vital to keep it safe and yet he's leaving it here with the door open? He's not very careful. Anybody could steal it. I better take it with me. But this is good. This is good. And the airline tickets, too. He also left his map. I hope he won't get lost. City men have a very bad sense of direction. But it might be useful to me, so I'll take it. Alright, then I'll take a walk alone. Okay, so this is, this is hopeful. Who picked this music? It's horrendous. I wish I could change it. You can, actually. Just kick it slightly. The disc should pop. Oh, really? It looks fun. I'll try. Yeah. Did it work? What did you do? Did we break it? You broke it! Oh, no! Stupid woman. I told you to kick it slightly, not bash it. Never seen such an oaf. Very sorry. What can I do to fix this? I'll add it to your tab. Bjorn's tab. You or your dumb boyfriend will need to pay me, and sooner rather than later. Or else. Else what? Don't worry, we'll pay. Mom always said I'm a troublemaker. Maybe she's right. Oh, you didn't mean to, Sandra. It's broken. I bet a very smart girl broke it. What's she think about this thing? Is that bread dough? I don't cook often, so I'm not sure. We've got one like this at my parents' farm. We use it to butcher the pigs and cows. She's, she's not going to just pick up everything she sees, eh? That bottle belongs to the nice man there. Drinking it in front of him would be impolite. Will she talk to him? He looks very friendly. But he's busy. I'd better not bother him. A box? What's it for? I'm not really used to hotels. You can write your thoughts about the hotel. It's a modern guest book. Oh, I see. Can I have a pen and paper? I'll do it. What? You'll actually write something? Yes, isn't that what it's for? Sure, great. Go ahead. So here's what I think about the hotel. What should Sandra write? Well, Sandra's a very... She's a pretty nice person, so I think she would be enthusiastic about it. She'll say... Where's my... It's lovely. Exclamation. Let me see. Ah, how nice! Thank you so much! No problem. I'm not used to hotels, but I really like this one. You did a great job. Anything else? I already wrote a message. That should be enough. What a selection! That's great! I used to really hit the bottle, but I've tried for moderation since I had Caroline. Now I'm down to a bottle a day. Sandra, yikes! <laughs> Hello! Good afternoon, ma'am. Are you going to pay for the room? Um, what do you mean? Didn't Bjorn pay? He didn't. He didn't have any local currency. Oh, well, I don't either. But I can pay with my credit card. It's an international busted card. They say you can use it for anything anywhere in the world. I don't take credit cards, sorry. So they lied? Darn advertisements. I'd like to have a chat with Bjorn. Alright. Can't believe it. 
Caroline said she would be playing in the hotel, but I don't see her anywhere. She never listens to me. Knowing her, she went out to play. I'm on vacation. I shouldn't be spending my time worried and stressed. I think I'll just take a walk. Hopefully I'll find her. Yeah, hopefully. You're in a strange country. You really do need to keep better tabs on your kid. All right. Awesome, there's a museum close by. It's decided. I'll start with a tour of the museum. Too bad neither Bjorn nor Caroline are there. They could use some culture for their child brains. Oh, but I don't... I wasn't sure if it would let me go somewhere else, but it did. Why is there an ad for Paris here? Why would anyone leave this paradise for that polluted mess of a city? Doesn't make sense. Paradise, huh? Oh, lighthouse! Is that an ancient lighthouse? In the middle of the desert? Maybe there was an ocean here in the past. No way, that pyramid is upside down. Architects must have seriously messed up their plans. Never hire underqualified people. They're right, I'm sick of seeing ads everywhere, even on monuments. And this one is no exception. Should I tear it down then, or leave it up because the message is good? What a dilemma. What's she think about this hole? This hole is dangerous. What if someone falls? They didn't even put up a railing. How careless. Yeah, what if Caroline fell? There's a thought. Oh, Lizzie. This is the one that Bjorn has been unable to catch. What a cutie. Come here, little fella. Nope. Oh no, it ran away. What are your thoughts on this bra, Sandra? A bra is hanging there. It's very similar to the ones I usually wear. Not my size, though. Way too small. Even two melons wouldn't fit. Well... Okay, I really want to get to the body and see what she says, but we'll go to the pond first. The fish don't look very friendly, or is that my imagination? Oh, nothing else to interact with over here now. To the tent. Oh my, what a foul odor. Did something die in here? Yes. Yes, something really did. Can't stand the sight of blood. I have bad memories of the pigs we used to butcher at the farm. Maybe I shouldn't stay here for too long. That could be a good read, but I don't want to steal it. I shouldn't search someone else's belongings. She's much more ethical than Bjorn. Hooks always remind me of pirates. Don't ask me why. I don't need a camera. I've got my own at the hotel. I was given that camera at my 10th birthday. Much better than this modern stuff. No, no, it's really not, Sandra. I had a camera when I was 10, too, and it had to use, like, that old film, and you have to take it in and get it developed, and half your pictures look like crap, but you don't know that until you develop the film. Digital cameras are so much better. Maybe later. Oh, she doesn't want to go see the sorcerer? Okay, let's try the bazaar. Maybe No. Museum time. Interesting. So that's a depiction of natives in ancient times? Look at the size of that big thing between his legs. Probably wasn't easy to carry that around. <laughs> well. well. That's interesting and everything, but where's that museum they're talking about? Th this, this is the museum, Sandra. What's she think about the excavations? Ah, so they found a big hole. Ew, gross. Yeah, that was kind of my thought. I don't know that I'd want to go to a chamber pot exhibition. I've cleaned enough of these to know it. Late Grandma couldn't leave her room. And she always had the trots. <laughs> I love quizzes. Nothing? Maybe I didn't press the correct button. It's broken, Sandra. Nope. Aw, I really wanted to play. Oh, not the quiz machine. I don't know. I can't get it to work. They should leave instructions. So we can wait on the bench while waiting in line for a ticket. Great idea. Oh, it's so cute. She's not creeped out by the bunnies like Bjorn is. It looks so lively, as if there's a mind inside it. Oh, no. They must have cut the head off a real bunny. Poor thing. Sandra, that doesn't make sense. Someone's procrastinating. Maybe I'm still in France. What about the prices? No guide? Bummer. For some reason, museum guides are always the cutest guys despite their foul odor. <laughs> really? I haven't, haven't had enough uh, guided tours of museums to really know. I like that blue thing. It reminds me of my... my... Maybe I won't say that in public. Oh my! King Demetrios. He doesn't look like much... look much like a king. More like the god of fish. 
All right, well, I think, Sandra, that we are ready to just head on in here. Let's do it. Go inside. I don't have a ticket. I can't enter. Or maybe I can. The barrier seems broken. Oh, I'm silly. This must be a free day. That's why there's no ticket seller. Who's this now? Is that the archaeo- Oh, no, no, no. Hey, excuse me. I have the feeling I already know you from somewhere. Oh, hello, miss. Oh, you're a tourist. There aren't too many around. I'm Henry Basset. We must be staying at the same hotel, or maybe it's Bass, or maybe it's Henri. Whatever. That's it. You're our neighbor. I remember seeing you in the hallway. Me and my friend come from Paris. Oh, your friend? Is that Mr. Thonin? Yes, exactly. What business did he have with you? I've heard things about a sorcerer and a potion. Oh, to make it short, I was sick, and Mr. Thonin helped cure me. Really? I didn't know. He seems to hide many things from me. That's annoying. I would have helped, too. Oh, I'm recovering, as you can see. My wife forced me to go for a walk. She said it was for my own good. So you came to the museum. Good idea. I love it. Don't you? Oh, yes, of course. Do you see that bird statue over there? Oh, well, I sold one like this to Mr. Thonin. Unlike this one, a tablet was set on it in the shape of lightning. Lightning? Like this one? Sandra, you shouldn't go flashing that thing around. Oh, my, that's the one. Why are you carrying this? Long story, but Bjorn said it was very important, so I took it with me. Oh, you know, I remember seeing another like this not too long ago. Really? Where? Oh, let me think. Mm. Oh, no, I can't remember. I lost some of my memories from the disease. Oh, but I know I was with my wife. It was a few days ago. It must be somewhere in no-go. Really? If those tablets are super important, I should try and get that other one. Bjorn would be pleasantly surprised. Ah, uh, he would indeed, yeah. Maybe your wife will remember? I could ask her. Oh, sure, she stayed behind at the hotel to watch her favorite TV show, The Old and the Composed. <laughs> She's a huge fan, and oh, she wouldn't miss an episode. Really? I don't watch TV. We had very poor reception at my parents' farm, so I'm not used to it. Oh, she wouldn't come to no-go unless she could still watch it. So we paid the hotel manager to install satellite just for us. Wow. Oh, anyway, you can ask her. We're in room 204. All right, thank you. Enjoy your visit. Oh, likewise. All right, Mom told me I had vision issues, but I didn't believe her. I'll make an appointment with an optician when I come home. Oh, because she can't see the vase. It's, it's just not there, Sandra. Don't worry about it. What a weird chicken. Maybe some kind of god for poultry? I swear I've already seen that lightning symbol somewhere. Does she have thoughts about the exploits? I knew it. I knew there were giant plates flying in the sky sometimes. During a full moon, I've even seen pepper shakers, but no one would believe me. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> oh, poor gingerbread man. Looks like the rats have nibbled it. Alright, her thoughts on this one? I know, Demetrius must be Bjorn's ancestor. That's why his head is so strangely proportioned. Now that would certainly be interesting. How clever. If it was me, I would have never thought of doing that. <laughs> doing what exactly? Putting the test or stealing all the gems and running? Alright, now this one. Poor pig. Oh. And number five. Oh, I don't like stories with unhappy endings. If he didn't die, he'd still be alive. Probably, I, how long ago was this? I doubt he'd still be alive, Sandra, but... Sure, my dad taught me to tinker with electrical networks. But this is a public museum. I'm not dumb enough to screw with their electrical panel. Alright, how about some water? Well, first, the trash bin. Oh, very interesting. So that's how trash bins looked in ancient times. I can't believe there's rubbish inside. Some people have no respect for old things. Oh, Sandra. Is that water? If it's beer, I might have some. No, thank you. I drink water in Spain, and then I had the runs. So I've decided not to drink any water this week. Just alcohol. It's safer. I love this museum. I should take a look over here. Can we actually see anything with Sandra? Oh, interesting. So ancient Nagoyans cooked eggs on their heads. I'll try that with Caroline someday. Okay. <laughs> That ape looks totally like Bjorn. They must be brothers. Wow, there are so many nude statues. Oh, these two statues seem very alive. I can swear they're fornicating right in front of me. Looks like I've seen everything. That was fun. I should go to the museum more often. Alright, I think we're done here. Well, let's try going back. Well, first. 
Okay, I don't think we'll be able to go anywhere other than the hotel. Alright, so we will go straight here. And I quite enjoy that we get a little bit of adventure with Sandra. No one's there? Mr. Bass said his wife would be watching TV. Wait a minute, I can hear the TV from here. Mrs. Bass, are you there? Who the heck are you? You're bothering me. Victor is about to make out with Sophie. I've been waiting for this for days. I'm very sorry. Your husband said you could help me. What do you want? I'm looking for a tablet like this. He said you saw one here recently, but can't remember where. Yeah, so it was at the bazaar two days ago. The merchant selling trinkets. Oh, really? Goodbye. Wow, she slammed the door in my face. How rude. At least I know where to look. To the bazaar. Oh, let's go right there. Okay, so this guy. Alright, let's look at everything else. A snake! It looks so cute! Here, handsome. I want to caress your big tail. He's gone. Just like guys whenever I say that. I don't get it. <laughs> what a nice basket. I'd love to go shopping with that. Does it work? Good thing I didn't want to drink. At this rate, I'd dry out faster than I'd hydrate. What else we got out here? Wonderful object! Oh, this is adorable! How much is it? 100 Nagoyans, monstrous. Monstrous. I have no idea how much 100 Nagoyans is worth. I better not ask, I don't want to sound dumb. Deal, take my card. Huh? A cart? Yes, it's a busted card. They say you can pay for everything, everywhere with it. I don't want cart, I want Nagoyan money. Aww. In that case, where's the closest ATM machine? Hey, T. Hen? Never mind. Alright, we will talk to him in a minute. Oh, postcards. Maybe I could buy a postcard? Just one, to send to my parents. Which one should I choose? Run over cat. Rear end. Sand. Tourist. Toilet. Sandwich. I guess sand. It depicts where we're at and what we're doing. Sand. Appropriate for this country, I guess. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I should go in the store to pay for it. I'd like to buy this postcard, please. Sure thing. It's one Nagoyan. Mm, I'm short on Nagoyans currently. In that case, don't worry. It's free for you. Hey, thank you. Really? That's great. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Do you have a pen? I'd like to write it now. Here, take this. Okay, what should I write to my parents? Um, let's see, we are having a fine time. Um, what else is she going to say? There we go. Wish you were here. Oh. Love, Sandra. Oh, that's as much as we can get. That'll do. Now I add the address. There you go, ready to send. Now where will I find a stamp and a mailbox? i give it to me. I'll stick a stamp and send it. Oh man, this guy is super helpful now. Thank you, I'm very grateful. Anything for you, milady. But make sure to check what my store offers. Yes, I think I will. You think? I just gave you this postcard, a stamp, and the postal service. You must buy something. Oh, sorry, let me see first. Taurus, all the same. Pretty sure that's a gas barrel. I used to sniff gas when I was... Or I said nothing. Nothing at all. Hey, milady, would you like to taste our country's specialty? Why, yes, of course. I came to discover your culture. Wonderful. Here you go. The color doesn't inspire confidence. Don't worry about that. Just eat. Okay. So, isn't it good? It contains... Don't tell me. I'll guess. It's salty. The strawberry taste, very crunchy. I 
know, these are mushroom crisps with onions. Huh? Wrong. This is some tarantula sweetened with camel urine. Oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why did you do that? I just cleaned the floor. Gross, even at the farm I never ate anything so disgusting. You're being silly. First you want to discover our specialties, and then you reject them. Go figure. Well, he's got a point. Wonderful, I want a cactus like that at home. I'd put it right behind my door. Caroline could play with it all day. Yeah, that's a really great option for a child to play with. Come on, my lady, buy something. Everything is cheaper than free. How could it be cheaper than free? That doesn't make any sense. What, are you going to pay me to take it? Unless you're willing to give me money? Women, always trying to split hairs. No doubt, that's a wheel from an ATV. I'm not really fond of pineapple. Oh, but it's so good, Sandra. Besides, I didn't come all the way from Paris to buy a product imported from France. Alright. Those fruits look tasty. They're fresh from yesterday. Go ahead, have one. You sure? Yes, I'm the house. Hey, thanks. Alright, I'll take this one. It looks right. Ouch! Is that a rock or what? I almost broke my teeth. See, I told you they're very fresh. How many do you want? Are you insane? None. I don't understand. You don't like it? No, I'm not a masochist. Well, not when it comes to eating rocks, anyway. You foreigners are so weird. Grapes? I heard someone had his hand cut off just because he ate some grapes in a foreign country. Now I know why people say harvesting hurts your hands. It'd be pretty hard to catch fish with only a net and fish food. But I love fishing. Maybe I'll suggest it to Bjorn. I'll bet he's never caught a single fish in his life, not even a dead one. Oh ho, we've caught plenty of fish, Sandra. Oh no, poor fish. You should remove it from the aquarium. What? Removing Mudcat? Why would I do that? Because it's dead? No, 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 you tourists can't tell your ass from your elbow. No, it's, it's dead. It's just sleeping. I didn't know sleeping fish could rot. It's fake. Only a fool would fall for that. <laughs> What's that? It's pretty. This is candy for children. It's made from my fruit and vegetable leftovers with added sugar. That's revolting. It must have a rotten taste. That's why there's sugar. I see. Maybe I'll buy some for Caroline later. <laughs> some smelly goods. I bet they're expired too. I can see some mold on them. Ew, something disgusting is stuck on that top shelf. Better get out of here fast. Alright, well, first we're going to talk to the merchant. Are you looking for something specific, milady? Nothing special. Do you sell ice cream? It's so hot. Do you see a freezer here? Don't think so. Please don't ask stupid questions, then. Well. We're out of here, then, buddy. Where are you going, milady? Leaving? Why? Please honor me with your presence a little longer. Sorry, I don't see anything that interesting. And to be honest, your shop is smelly. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but it really stinks of death in here. Get out of here. But come back later, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to our merchant. Hello, mister. Good day, monstrous. I was told that you're selling a tablet like this one. Let me see. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I have tabled. In bag. Hold down. There is. The poo tablet. Oh, it's very pretty. Well, except the symbol on it. I'll take it. How much do you ask? One thousand Nogoyans. Here you go. What that is? Plastic? Plastic, no interest me for. Don't tell me you don't know what a credit card is. It's a busted card. You can pay worldwide with it. Look, it's written right on it. No plastic. Alright, I think I have my checkbook. Do you have a pen? Hey, why do you want to hurt me? No, no, I mean, I'll write you a check. Check? Don't like checks. Bad people. Oh my. Give me Nagoyans. Cash. I've told you I don't have cash. One thousand Nagoyans, or no tablet. Ah, oh, back in the bag. Aw. There's gotta be something I can offer you. Hmm. Why are you standing up all of a sudden? Stop, don't come any closer. You're frightening me. Kiss. What? Kiss for tablet. Uh, okay, if it's just a kiss, that's not that bad, Sandra. We can do this. A kiss? No way. You reek of camel. Come down. Just one. Little kiss. No, don't insist, you pervert. 
go. No cash, no kiss, no tablet. That's a problem. I really want that tablet. But I have no intention of giving him cuddles. There must be another way. Maybe I should walk around. I might get an idea. What have, oh, what have we got here? Plastic bag. Lightning, credit card, airline tickets. Look, this is a very sophisticated bag. You can even put things in it. This plastic bag. I have, you idiot. Hey, if you insult me, you can forget about the kiss. Oh, well. You intelligent, bright, sexy girl? Forget it. Just forget it. Alright, let's talk about this tablet. I still want that tablet. I still want kiss. Forget it, old man. I'll come back later. Here we say goodbye with kiss, monstrous. In your dreams. Let's find another way. Oh no, poor sheep, it's so skinny. Why don't they give it more food? I'm shocked. Alright, well... I think I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we'll take a walk, see if anything else comes to mind. Where are we going to... We've got to find some way to get some money. But if all she has is a card, I don't, I don't think there is an ATM. We'll see what we can figure out.